Hey guys and welcome to this video. So this video is a little bit different uh, to the other things that I share online and that's because this was actually recorded live from a mastermind in Curacao, 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 I never figured out whilst I was there how to actually pronounce it, but there was a mastermind in the Caribbean and um, it was it was an amazing week of, of learning and networking and um, really kind of strengthening existing relationships and during that presentation during that week, I gave a presentation, and it was quite a long one. It was it was well over an hour. So what I've done is I've broken it down into um, little sections, uh, of which this video that you're about to watch is one of them. So um, apologies, the the audio isn't as crisp and clear as I would like it to be, but it's still very listenable. Um, and um, yeah, I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you do get some value and obviously share it to anybody who you also think might benefit. So without further ado, please enjoy this video. And who here has some form or does some form of learning on a daily basis? Weekly? Yeah. <laughs> um, does everyone here know what kind of learner you are? Well, I'll just skip the slide if you're on you know, there. Good. You're not all yeah, Great. So um, you can you can pick up if you're into like NLP or you've done anything like that. You can kind of begin to pick up how other people are um, like what category they fit into, which is a really good sales technique because if you find someone saying, ah, oh, I see your point, I like the look of that. They're probably a visual person. So if you're selling to them, you speak their language to them. You say, do you see how good it looks? Yeah. Would you like to see that on your wall? Um, but it's important to know how you learn, because um, once, you, once you've asked this, again, we're just talking 1%. We're just talking when we're doing our personal development, we just want to optimize our personal development and take in a little bit more. Right? It's important to know uh, which way you are. There's tests online. Um, if you if you just type in like what kind of what kind of person am I, <laughs> might not find it. But like, am I audio visual kinesthetic? Whatever, you'll you'll find it. You're smart. Um, <clears throat> but once you know, okay, sorry, it's the next slide. Um, once you know, you can then focus your learning on like specific like mediums. So audio books if you're an audible person, or podcasts if you're an audible person, uh, videos if you're a visual person. Uh, books of your visual slash kinesthetic, you're like holding stuff. I, I went through a phase like everybody where I got like a Kindle and they loaded loads of books on it and then I found I didn't really like it. I wanted a book. I wanted to feel it. I wanted to... Mm -hmm. away. Um, <clears throat> Victor, who's my business partner in the software company, he's hybrid. So first of all, he's Hungarian. So that's like... A, and most of the most of this stuff is in English. Um, what, <coughs> what he does is he... Um, he watches a video or reads reads the book whilst listening to the, the audio version of the thing. He does it at the same time, so he learns in both. And what he kind of does is he gets double the, the absorption of, of what he's learning, and he also improves English because he's seeing the words and hearing the words, so he's actually learning a language at the same time. So like, if you want to learn another language, consider your personal development in a different language and doing it that method as an option. But it's important to know, like, do you guys tend to gravitate towards the ones that best for you, or does someone just recommend like a YouTube video, so you watch the YouTube video without looking for the book? It's mostly, um, you'll watch the video, and then halfway through I get distracted and do something else, but I put on an audiobook, and I can fully embrace like, all the information that comes in. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I go on autopilot as well. I just listen and do the workout, I go for a drive, or walk, um, so generally like that. I, I love the audio one. Even, um, like I don't think I, I'm a blend, and I'm not I'm not so on the audio. I'm not, not not fully up there, but I like audio because it's something you can do whilst you're doing other stuff. Exactly. Like there's so many things. If you if you break down your day, like how you spend your time, there's so many times where like you don't really need to concentrate for what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, like if you're showering, if you're driving if you're um, commuting in any kind of way, if you're cooking. That um, that last call that we did with Justin, um, I was cooking. Put it on mute. I had my, had my Bluetooth headphones in, so I had my laptop at a distance, so I could, um, if prompted, I could go over to it, and I was just listening to it whilst cooking. Um, I thought that was a pretty efficient use of my time. 
<laughs> the stir fry was so overcooked because the because the video <laughs> training went on too long. Uh, was it was a wicked. Yeah. Uh, Blinkers. Uh, someone recommended it in the cartel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so every morning. Yeah. yeah. Every morning, um, you're making eggs. You just got Bluetooth headphones on. You're sort of listening to an audio. You get through two or three of those by the time. Yeah, it gives you about It gives you the main nuggets yeah. of, of what you're uh, of like. So you, there'll be a massive book, and that'll break it down to like the key takeaways of that book. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't. <coughs> I, I, I can't read a book. I'll, no. I'll start reading a book. I'll be at two pages in, and I'll be fucking. That's how I. I'll be thinking about fucking I'm failing or something. You know, like, 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 and, 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 I'll, and I'll go through thirty pages of the book and be like, yeah. Yeah. "Well, fuck." Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the beginning. I don't want to read. Yeah. You're just saying it's an audible. What? Probably not audible. Yeah, probably not audible. I think you would have found. It's like reading out loud, just like seeing the words and seeing what's happening. I don't like audiobooks. It makes me sleepy. It'll put me to sleep if I read a book. Yeah. I like audiobooks. Yeah. My mind wanders. And you get, there's some people like Justin reads his audiobooks at like 3x the speed. Mm. But somehow, like just from doing it every day, he can retain yeah. all. Like he, it's, it's kind of annoying because I'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm just started reading like when, when uh, the new funnel hacking book came out. Yeah. And um, he finished it in a day from the morning bus ride to his. Home bus ride. Yeah, and I was just starting like chapter one. You need to I... adopt Justin. That's a sign. Need to tie him down somehow. Adopt him or marry him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it harder for him to leave. Quite really. Or impregnate him. Good thing now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I keep a book bucket list. So it's, it comes at the most inconvenient time. Someone will go, oh, you have to check out this, and you go, yeah, 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 yeah. And then when you get to the point where you've like read your book or you're going, right, I want to learn something, without having like a book bucket list, just a list of books that you want to read in the future, you kind of end up just going with like an Amazon recommendation or, or something, and it might not necessarily be like the best book for you. But also, um, don't use books, um, and we're, obviously we're talking nonfiction, and when I say book, I also mean podcast and, and, I, and just your learning. Like make it important to like the direction you're going in. So, um, like for example, I'm I'm um, right now like my books. I've just like published a book, which by the way, if you'd all review on Amazon, that'd be amazing. That'd be so good. Yeah. Um, and it's it's just a kind of a thing just to uh, get the word out about Smarter Destiny, and um, and I build some kind of authority. I'm not trying to be a guru. I'm trying to get to the point where people will actually listen to what I'm saying because there's a certain amount of credibility underlying it. And um, <clears throat> where was I going with that? Book bucket list. Um, oh yeah, so so um, on my book bucket list, I've got a bunch of books which are all about um, about sort of like lead magnets and and building a following and a cult and things like that. I'm currently reading um, uh, Russell Brunson's book. And um, if I didn't have my book bucket list at the point where I'm like, shit, I need a book, and you can just get one instantly on the Kindle store, you probably get something that doesn't really align with the direction that you're going in or you'll just get the recommendation on that day and that might not be the best book for you. So I just keep an Evernote, and I use Evernote for everything, all my lists, everything, I use Evernote. Um, and my book bucket list, I quite often share it. So I have all the books, I'll have a little justification often, so I'll have like the book and the author and the justification for why. Um, and then like, if someone goes, hey, what, what's a good book to read? Or, or I'm suggesting that someone does personal development or something, I'll just share the book bucket list with them. And it's really simple because when you get that question asked of you a lot of times, it gets time consuming writing out or trying to recall what it was you wanted to. You just check out my link. And you just happen to come across these cool books or topics and you just add them to your list. Yeah, just as you go along because you, you might not be at, at that point where you can delve into it right now, but you want to remember it for later on. So you put it in there and then you can just scan through, you can tick it off. Um, so you've got a record of what you've read as well, which you know some people like, and you can see. What you've conquered pre pre yeah. previously. You have certain habits that keep you from orphaning that list. Like I know if some list gets lonely, sort of forget about it, or you just start a new one. Um, so with Evernote, um, I just I'll search like books to read, which is the name of the note, and, and I'll just add into it. Um, I don't actually cut it down. My my filtering to, to get on the list is quite high. Um, but yeah, I mean whatever works for you. So you've got uh, sort of like a vetting process. Yeah, so um, I'm planned, I'm scheduled. Yeah. I haven't got internet, so you guys might be. It's alright. I'm not going to throw it up. 
By the way, if I need to go fast or skip these things, just please. Okay. Anyway, it's Evernote. If you haven't got Evernote, that's a whole different thing, but get Evernote and just watch the YouTube training because Evernote's more than just like uh, notes. <clears throat> There's so, much, so many things you can do with tagging and, um, and then it has add-ons where you can take photos. Like you can have a whiteboard, you can take a photo of it with Evernote and um, you can take it at an angle, it will straighten up the whiteboard and then it will recognize the words on the thing and make them searchable just from a photo, for example. Wow. You can get notebooks with Evernote, you take a picture of it there's a little box in the corner of the of the page, and you can tick that. Oh, there's different boxes, and, and you can take a photo, and it'll automatically send you a Dropbox, or it'll automatically be emailed to you, or it'll automatically go off to a friend but just from ticking this. So you've made the notes, you ticked the box, photo, and it does like four tasks just from Evernote. Really, really cool. <clears throat> Schedule your me time, your learning time, in the calendar, um, and don't feel guilty. <laughs> That's probably three or four vodkas in there. Um, <laughs> don't feel guilty because it's important that you me time. It, it is. Like your calendar, um, as you know, will just swell to fill the gaps in your day. Um, so you have to you literally have to put it in the calendar, you just have me time. And and it might be that your environment's not not conclusive to conclusive good good for learning. Um, so it might be that you schedule your me time and your your appointment is at the park or like by the lake. For me, it's like outside locations ideally, but, but like it's in a quiet place or it's in a place where you learn best. It might be your me times in the gym and it might be you crank out a podcast whilst working on your guns and like whatever, but get it in the calendar because otherwise you'll, you'll skip it. Right? Don't feel guilty. Podcast, that what you said about Justin. Um, so podcast you can do with audio books as well. Um, you can listen to it um, quite comfortably at 1.25 to start off with, but then you can build it up. Uh, just be aware and like sort of test yourself to see how much actually embedded. Because if you've just gone, you've just cruised through the entire podcast and you go, right, what did I learn? And you can't really recall any of it, then you probably need to slow it down. It's the same, I don't know if I wrote it down. Um, it's the same with speed reading. If you're more a, a visual books kind of person, there's apps which um, can teach you speed reading. Which is a good idea because if you're right, right, I'm going to try and read a book a month or something. If you do a speed reading um, course on an app beforehand, you're going to crank out a lot more books. And the speed reading course not only helps you with speed, it helps you with recall, like actually, like, you, you know, being able to recall it. Martin, was it you who posted about the there's like a app or video or course on like speed listening, like like becoming better at upping the speed? I'd like to take credit. I don't think that was me. But I think Someone posted it in the cartels when we were talking about this like two yeah. months ago. Yeah, it's so important. And I, and I, I should have added that to the list because that's one of the yeah. things. That's a good one. But, but bear in mind that sometimes, like, <clears throat> there is a certain advantage to not adding, like, when you're listening to it at speed, it adds a layer of stress to some degree. Like, it's like school's in session, I must learn. And so. There is a, an argument to be had that like, by doing it that way, you're taking some of the fun out and therefore you're beginning to program yourself to not really want to do it. Um, whereas if you just enjoy sitting down with a good book um, and learning, then it's, you know, it's <clears throat> just weigh those two up. Leverage your dead time. So I've said this, like travel, showering, cooking. Um, a friend of mine, he actually, uh, his, his girlfriend, who's like, doesn't work in his businesses and stuff, she likes snuggle time on the sofa, watching folks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, he doesn't like that, right? Because, because, no, 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 no. Um, and, and, you know, she, she wants to watch stuff that, that will give no long term value, right? Which is fine. There's, there's relaxation elements to it. It's not something that I do, but like, he's absolutely fine. What he does, but, but for her as well, it's also about, about being like intimate together, um, you know, and spending some time together, which, which is absolutely essential. So what he does is he, he gives her the being close together, snuggling, cuddling side of things, but he'll have his headphones in listening to, to a podcast or, or whatever, while she's watching whatever it is on, on, the, um, on the TV, and, and if they come across interesting stuff, they'll, they'll share it with each other. And that works for them. It's not something I've been able to do in my relationship, but it is something that if you can do it, I reckon so to be able to, because you've <laughs> got it good, like, um, <coughs> then, then, you know, that will help. It's easy to switch from, like, uh, a show to a documentary. 
Because we, we fall into this trap too. Like we get so tired by the end of the night mm. and the sofa. Like I fall asleep on the couch. Like that's my favorite sleeping spot. Mm. And recently I was like, you know what? I watch so much TV just to relax and then kind of unwind and mm. take our minds off. Let's at least watch a documentary and learn something. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what documentary, whether it's about food or well, to space or yeah. you know, <laughs> uh, planet Earth or whatever. Watch it's at least you're learning something. Nazis and sharks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, in, our, in our house, you can't even get the TV. That's not me being some kind of hipster. We just never bothered and never yeah. got around to it. We download shows and we do like watch shows, um, like you know when when we're together. But yeah, we don't do that. It also cuts out things like adverts and it's like on demand and stuff. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's just about looking at that dead time. And if you did actually a time calendar for a few days, you'd begin to see. And by time calendar, I mean did this took this long. Did this took this long. Um, if you did that with your time, you did that with your food, right, and then you review it later on, you actually begin to spot pretty quickly, like, sort of flaws or areas of improvement. Um, so if there's any dead time, if you're in the shower, you can get, like, waterproof everything. You can also get waterproof notebook. I've got a waterproof notebook in my shower. So it's, um, it's a paper's made of plastic and pencil writes in the, underwater. So you can take notes in the shower. You could also do it with Alexa or something, you know, take a note, um, like just by coming in nearby. Because when you're doing stuff that takes no thought, that's when the that's ideas the come. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. By the time you've rushed out, all like bubbled up and stuff, you can forget <laughs> half of it. Give them out. Honestly, if I had a pad every time I run past Cat in the towel to my office to scream at the whiteboard, <laughs> so I come out of the shower. Um, this is why I like books. It takes 10 to 20 years of experience for that person to be qualified enough to write a book, and it takes you like a week to learn it. So you can, like, shoulders of giants, standing on the shoulders of giants to stuff here. Like, you can become like a superhuman really, really quickly by absorbing this stuff. 